get it, get it. It's your girl Sweet Pea back with another video. So today I have a gift from I See Your Beauty. It's a wig company from AliExpress. So they sent me a 24 inch body wave. It is Peruvian hair and it's 150% density and it's a 13 by 4 um, lace frontal wig. This is the box that it came in. This is the pack that it came in. And of course in the box you have your 3D lashes along with some advertisement for the company, how to get in contact with you, if you have any problems, you know, and your standard wig cap. Um, I love the hair. I'm, I love the hair and I'm sure when I put it on it's going to look good. So I did customize the wig. I bleached the knots. I did pluck it. And you know, I got a peanut head, so I did have to go in and take a big chunk out the back out the back of it and size it to fit my little peanut head. And this is what I came up with. So let's get started. Before we do, like, subscribe, so you can stay up to date with all my future videos. So now for the install. I am absolutely loving how soft this hair is. Oh my God, it's soft, it's bouncy. Oh, I'm loving it. So this wig came with your standard combs, one on each side, one in the front and one in the back. I did take those off. And I did cut out a chunk and resize it. I took out this whole back piece to see how I do that. Make sure to look in the description. I have a video down below on how I resize my wigs to fit my peanut head. Yeah, I'm loving this. So this is what I came up with. I played with a little color and these are the colors I used. And I just put a little patch in the front So what I'm going to do now basically is I'm going to speed through the video, cut out the ears, make it fit real good, and glue this baby down for you. So this lace is like super, super white. So I'm going to take a little bit of this lace tint and spray a couple of sprays in the inside of my wig to give it a brown hue. Like that. Okay. Blow dry it for a few seconds on cool. Hey, why not spray some on my wig cap? Can't hurt nothing. Now I'm going to pop this baby on. And what I'm trying to do here, you guys, is instead of cutting it just straight across, I'm doing like some little zigzag parts so that the line won't be so visible. Oh my God, you guys. I literally just put a hole in my lace. These long ass nails. Next time I go to the nail shop, I'm going to have to cut these nails down. Ugh. I just poked a hole in my wig y'all so now i'm putting a few little dabs of ghost bond glue on my edges first because i don't know if you guys notice normally when you put glue on you start at the top but when you get to the bottom it'd be so thick at the bottom because it requires more hold than the top and it takes longer to dry the top be dry and the bottom takes longer so i said you know what i'm gonna even this out i'm gonna start at the bottom that way when it's top starts to dry it'll all be completely dry and even at the same time hack
I am really trying to be gentle while I'm pulling this wig down because I do not want this hole to open into like a 50 cent piece or a nickel size. So I'm really trying to take my time. Y'all, make sure y'all don't have no super long nails when y'all trying to do y'all install because you will have an accident and poke a hole. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of hair out so I can make me a little bit of baby hairs on both sides. It only take me like a long time to do baby hair. I ain't going to even lie. I don't know why it takes me so long. So after I cut the baby hair and right now what I'm doing, I just wanted you guys to know I'm actually putting edge control on the side. And what you guys didn't see really, really quick, I speeded up the video, is I took the pressing comb and just straightened out the edges a little bit. And also, I went in with my curler and tried to make my curl a little bit more tight because these uh, curls is hella loose and they are just not tight enough for me. I called myself uh, going up a size on the curling wand. I don't like it that much though. I like my curls a little bit more tighter, but it's cool though. It still came out pretty good. So yeah, it's still bouncy. It's still banging. Um, I do like my curls a little bit more tighter, but I love the fact that I experimented with the color putting those three colors in a little bit in the back in that patch in the front I love it the hair is soft it's very manageable um, I can't wait to cut it into a different style and reuse it in a different way thank you guys blessings for supporting me